Welcome back to the channel, my friends. Warhammer Man Studios. I'm Warhammer Man, and today we're taking a look at the upcoming Pariah Nexus Crusade book. This video is sponsored by CMO Games. More on that later. The Adeptus Mechanicus have their ocular arrays fixed on the Pariah Nexus in the upcoming Crusade book. The galaxy of the 41st millennia is littered with all manner of natural and artificial anomalies, but few are as curious as the Pariah Nexus, a psychic dead zone stretch wide across the Nephilim sector. This anomalous region has been artificially constructed by sinister Necron science. It's insulated from the presence of the Empyrean, and over it hangs a strange, quieting pall that saps the will from the mortal souls, human, alien, and even animal. Fighting has been fierce for a while around the Nakmoon Gauntlet, and then the Fourth Tyrannic War began, engulfing the Western Fringe. But Crusade Pariah Nexus returns the galactic narrative to the Necron-held space. Battle Group Collides was the first sent to investigate the worrying Silent Zone, only to be immediately set upon by its Necron custodians. Unable to evacuate through the doldrums of the Nexus stilled warp, the Imperial Fist instead sought a way to request aid from the wider Imperium. Their gambit has paid off, and reinforcements are inbound, including Battle Group Hephaestus. Composed primarily of a large Adeptus Mechanicus fleet led by the Archmagos Belisarius Call. Perhaps predictively, rescue plans have taken low priority in Call's stack of tasks. His cogitators are instead dominated by schemes for acquiring and processing vast quantities of Noctilith, better known as Blackstone to manufacture his new liminal abrasers. These devices, he believes, will allow his fleets to precisely modulate the energies of the warp, grinding away at the strange Xenos-crafted field dominating the Pariah Nexus. Unbeknownst to the self-proclaimed greatest minds of Mars, the Necrons have become embroiled in civil war. Dynasties loyal to the Silent King are locked in combat with those who have aligned themselves with Imhotek the Stormlord, who has denounced the authority of the Mute Monarch. Even with these undying armies distracted by disagreements over sovereignty, Call and his allies have bloody battle ahead for them. Fortunately, the tech priests to draw on their banners include some of the most radical and ambitious minds in the machine cult, each more than willing to smuggle esoteric, experimental, and forbidden superweapons into the Nexus. These devout followers of Call are now poised, with their fingers on the triggers of an arsenal of apocalyptic armaments that overshadow the destructive prowess of any other Indominus Crusade battle group. To find out what's escalating, chaos is unleashed when the ancient kings, Lockhorns, and the tech priests pull reality-twisting superweapons from beneath their robes. You'll need to get your hands on Crusade Pariah Nexus when it's released next year. In the meantime, Codex Adeptus Mechanicus is up for pre-order this weekend, so you'll rally your robotic forces in advance. As well as advancing the narrative of the Nephilim War, this book contains the core Crusade rules for expanding Crusade options for venturing into the Silent Zone. You'll find a new Nephilim-themed battle traits, crusade relics, blessings, and agendas, 15 new crusade missions, rules for harvesting and exploiting precious blackstone, and a campaign system split between the alliances of seekers, protectors, and interlopers. All right, so very cool. I'm not sure exactly how many people are into Crusade. So if you do play like the Crusade missions, if you've played some of the ones in the new 40k rulebook from Leviathan or other ones, uh, let me know in the comments. Always like to hear back from you guys. I think Crusades can be a ton of fun, especially if you have like a group of gamers who want to play through a Crusade together. They tend to be a little bit more thematic, a little bit more fun, and a little less competitive. And I do like that they are further in the plot here. Sounds pretty cool that you basically have like some infighting between the Necrons, the Imperial Fists kind of figuring out what's going on and calling for aid from the Mechanicus. And obviously that lines up perfectly with the Necron and Mechanicus Codexes going up for pre-order next week. So they did say this is going to be available next year. I would imagine probably pretty early in the year. And I've definitely thought that the Pariah Nexus and idea behind it was super cool, but a lot of us got burnt last edition at the end of Kill Team. I got super excited, picked up Pariah Nexus, actually a couple sets of it, went all in on it, did a ton of work actually like painting up my actual Pariah Nexus terrain set and models within. Also found some cool STL files online, did a ton of modifying them and created like a Necron themed board much more similar to like the indoor board that we saw with Into the Dark in the current season of Kill Team. And it turned out absolutely awesome. The paint job was like super cool on it. It looked amazing on the table. Unfortunately, like literally right afterwards, I mean, within weeks, a couple months at best, Games Workshop basically killed that edition of Kill Team and announced like the new Kill Team set was going to be coming out which was Kill Team Octarius and it was a new edition. And they basically just like threw Pariah Nexus in the trash. There was no adaptations made for the rules so that you could play it in the new edition. And it really just created a feel bad moment for anybody that picked it up, had it for like literally a couple weeks, and then it was immediately invalidated. Now, don't get me wrong. There were some super cool models released in that set. That was the first time we saw the new flayed ones and the heavy intercessors. 
a couple nice characters to go along with them and some cool little like doors and little bits of like scatter train necron themed which is awesome because we've always been sort of like lacking for xenos for xenos terrain so it was definitely a step in the right direction followed by like an immediate backhand slap to the face so obviously that has nothing to do with this crusade but whenever i hear pariah nexus whether it's like the cartoon or animations from warhammer studio or now with this crusade right here it just tends to like bring up those negative feelings and like it's not so bad that i just don't want anything to do with pariah nexus but it's definitely that little sting in the back of your mind and i'm sure everybody has experienced something like that over time now a quick message from today's sponsor. CMO Games has been selling Games Workshop products online for over 20 years. They carry the full line of Games Workshop products including Warhammer 40,000, Age of Sigmar, Necromunda, Blood Bowl, Paint Tools, and more. Almost all Games Workshop products are priced at 15% off MSRP. CMO Games takes pre-orders for most Games Workshop products released at their earliest date possible. 12.01 a.m. on Saturday, they go live. Most of these pre-order products are also priced at 15% off MSRP. CMO Games offer free shipping in the U.S. 48 with an order of $50 or more. Their customer service is top-notch and they ship most orders within 24 hours. Visit CMOGames.com using the affiliate link in the description and let them know that you heard about CMO Games from Warhammer Man. Now, back to the video. But honestly, now that I'm looking at this and now that we're kind of talking about it and everything, and now that they have like Into the Dark rules for Kill Team and everything like that, so we have like the adaptation into the new season, even if it did take like a little over a year from when all this went down, Maybe it's time for us to revisit the Pariah Nexus and play some games on that board. If you think you might be interested in something like that, or you even want to just take a look at the actual board itself, what I created, let me know down in the comments. And if enough people actually care, I'll potentially dig up those old like STLs and everything and uh, share them if anybody would be interested in having their own. So I actually created like the pieces that you would need for all the different boards so that you could 3D print them on your own and they just fill out like all the blank spots on the board that are supposed to be walls. So yeah, actually, I kind of have like some negative feelings about Pry Nexus because of the Kill Team situation. But now that some time has passed and we're kind of like revisiting it, talking about these Crusade rules and sort of like the revitalization of the Necrons, we got the new Necron Combat Patrol, the new Necron Codex, kind of want to dig it out and play some games and have a little fun with it. So yeah, even though things didn't go how I would like them to have gone, and it definitely did a lot of people dirty, I think I'm ready to bury my salty feelings about Pry Nexus and jump back in. So again, let me know what you think down in the comments, and I'd be glad to share that stuff. And as always, special thanks to CMO Games for sponsoring this video. Check out the link in the description to save 15% on Games Workshop products. Let them know that Warhammer Man sent you. That's it for today. Warhammer Man Studios, I'm Warhammer Man. And Pariah Nexus left a little bit of salt in my mouth, but I think I'm ready to wash it down with a little something fresh. Bring on the Crusades, and I'm out of here.